Hello, my name is Farman, and welcome back to episode two of our Let's Play on Sutton Farm. So, we are, well, we are kind of, sort of just cracking through the fields. Uh, field three has been harvested, field seven has been harvested, and we're just in the middle of doing field two. Um, we have got, the storage is completely full at the moment, or, where is it? There we go, storage capacity is full for wheat, is it, or barley? Barley. Um, so we're going to have to get rid of that today at some point. Another field of barley being done. Um, fold that up. So yeah, I've got field 8 is done. It wants planting in grass, so we're going to do that as well in a minute but we also need to get a few things first of all we don't have another tractor and trailer to take which is unfortunate because I would like to sell some of that barley in there um, but we do have a load of money so we could in actual fact 138 for the truck uh, which is a big trailer Seventy-eight thousand, sixty-one thousand. See, we could buy a truck and trailer and do it that way. Uh, which is probably going to be the easiest because it can get a lot in, but it will plummet the price pretty fast. Oh, would it be easy to get a tractor and a truck dolly? Do they do the dollies? Yeah, actually that's going to work out a lot better, that is. So let's get that one. I know it's not the biggest, but, you know, it's it'll have to do for now. Let's purchase a dolly. Standard white tyres. Let's put white tyres on it. Right, let's take this New Holland. Go get it. So, the, so I've just been sort of playing, well, I've kind of just been doing a load of stuff on this save game uh, to just try and get it a bit further ahead. Now I have tried to get rid of the fields, so you can, so you have to buy them back and it will not work. It will not, just won't do it, so we're going to have to stick with the wall, unfortunately. Um, so we'll get some grass growing in that field 8 at some point, we'll get it seeded and planted up. I might just whip over in the cultivator. And do it. I, as you can probably, as you can probably see, I've had to sell the cultivator because of um, it was having a few issues getting over the straw piles, and it was just getting annoying. So there'd be straw piles everywhere, and I didn't want that. So I just thought, well, we'll just use the cultivator he gave us anyway, which didn't take too long to do that big field up there, field three. Um, it took a long time to harvest. So that that field three took about two hours in real life to harvest with that Massey Ferguson combine um, which we will replace do not worry we're not going to keep that combine but we might buy another one to run with it with a bigger header but now we've got this we, well, I don't think we'll buy a truck till very later on um, but we'll just quickly go pick this up there is the over the the overloader in that field, so we can kind of keep up with the combine for a little bit, just whilst it's well, whilst you're overloading. Um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna shorten this video to about 20 minutes, just because it's just gonna save because it's just gonna literally be me selling grain. And I press the wrong button then. It's just gonna be sell me selling grain, so I don't really want to make it too long. And it is about 10 o'clock at night over here, so and I kind of I'm tired. Probably could have made this video a bit later, but well, a bit earlier actually. Well, a lot of you might have said oh, it probably was cheaper just to buy bought a truck. It probably was just as cheap to buy a truck actually. But I really didn't want a truck right now. So we just wait there with that. We'll take this and go tip it in the trailer that's there on the back of that. To John Deere. Now there are a few tractors I would like to buy. There is a MV track. There's two of them. I would like them. I'd like one of them. And there's also a John Deere 
8 R series which I'm going to get to replace the challenger the cat challenger um, because it, it kicks out about the same horsepower but it's not on track so it will go a little bit easier around corners and it's not as and it's not I don't think it's as slow I think it's a bit quicker um, but we'll keep we'll keep a few of these basic equipment or the starting equipment that it gives you really So we'll just dump this in here. Now this trailer will take all of this, so we'll be able to do about two runs with the combine before he gets full. And we'll just take this straight to the cell point as well with the as well as the other barley that we're taking, which well actually no, we'll see what the price is after about two loads of this full size trailer and then we might have to store a load of it because it's not at the best price at the moment which is a shame which is what the game pretty much is now forcing you to sell it really it doesn't it doesn't want you to save it at all but yeah this very small combine that may get stuck on these uh, pillar things over here Just knock it off with that. Let's get back in the New Holland, wherever that is. There he is. Uh, we'll start animals a, in a bit. Uh, I want to just get a few crops away and, you know, get them sorted. Uh, what else do we want to do? Yes, yeah, so we want to get we want to get all the animals on the underway. Uh, I want to get them three tractors. Well, uh, I only want one of the MB uh, Mercedes, uh, whatever they're called. I only want one of them, and the AR. And then there's a few other things to get. And like I said, I can't get rid of all the fields. I tried. I edit the XML so they would turn to false, but they wouldn't. They wouldn't actually. Stay false. What you do is, I'd, I'd edit them in the XML, and it, they'd all say false. And then I'd leave the ones that I wanted, which was seven, which was eight, six, seven, three, and two. Um, and then they, it, it, and then eventually I'd, I'd save it, put it back in the uh, XML, or put it back in its folder and back in the XML, and put it back in the game. And then I'd open the game and jump back in, and then all the fields would still be bought. So there is no. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but Nathan six nine yeah six nine thirty who actually converted the map over is going to sort it out. Apparently, he, he says he's making another version as we speak, which has got animals, so that he, he might sort it out then. But I like this edit that uh, Scooter has done because it is actually easier to have all the animals in one place than it is to just keep. I know it's all right. I know it doesn't make the game as fun ha when you don't get to drive around as much, but... No, you can't even see it out of the cab. Uh, but it just, makes e it just makes it easy. I haven't got to pay for loads and loads of other machines now. I can just put one loader at the thing. How much is that? Ooh, that's going down quite nicely. Uh, the price is at two seventy a ton, but there's nothing I can do, and I don't want to store too much of it. So we'll pull it back. But yeah, this will only be about twenty minutes because I do want to go to bed early tonight. There may be some vlogs uploaded from f on Sunday, and there might be some vlogs as we have a uh, there's a mini digger that we've hired for doing some. We got some digging of a, a drain away trench to do. Well, on the back, in the back, where the major is, and out the front as well. And there's also a big pile of soil that wants moving as well. So we're gonna do a load of that. The major will be working hard as well, which is going to be difficult because it's only got a link box that doesn't even tip. So it's going to be just I don't know how we're going to do it really, but we'll do it. So yeah. Um, a lot of people do like this map, and it is good. And I, I, I am 
sorry that I can't give it away. It is an edit, and he does. We don't have permission off Nathan six six nine thirty to give it away, and I wouldn't want to do that if he's already making a, an edit of it, and if he's already sorting his himself out, because there will be an edit released. And why is this all of a sudden gone really choppy? I don't know what that was then. Normally this this map runs fine, but I, I'm I'm starting to think there's a few issues with this map now. It's starting to dawn on me now. I've been playing it for a bit that there's a few a few things that are going wrong with it, uh, like the hood, the F1 hood. As you can see, I always have it closed because all it ever says is start engine, and it says it about eight times, and it really lags the game. Um, there's no real time mod or the seasons mod up in the top corner, as you can probably tell. Um, yeah, and it's starting to get a bit choppy, but it's not. I'm not dropping frames. This is the problem. It, it might just be me. It might just be this New Holland. Right, this will probably drop the price like an absolute tank. Because we are going to need a baler and a, a rake and a tedder and all sorts very soon, so we're gonna have to get them and a set of mowers and feeders and all sorts. There's the combine making us some lovely money. And I realised I just went silent then, but I was I was just trying to think. Um, I'm just trying to think: is it worth taking some more? I, I do want to empty that silo and then refill it again, but it, it it may even be worth just editing the XML for it. And I want to see how much these other tractors are. So go jump into this, click to the end. So we've got the 8R here for 260,000, so that's out of the question at this moment in time. And the two MB tracks, 172 and 172. Now we could get this one, which looks a bit more modern, or this one that looks... That one kind of looks alright. Uh, 172 horsepower, so what are they more then? Actually, they would be the lowest in the fleet. So... Um, Oh, we'll, we'll get them in a minute. We'll we'll see how much money this uh, thing, uh, this like you know crops make and that, and whatever. But I would like to have a pair of them because they, uh, well, not a pair, but you know, I would like to have one. Um, just just because everyone's using the in-game equipment, and I want to branch into the mods as fast as I can because I don't really like the in-game equipment. I mean, it is nice, and we are using it quite well. Um, but you know. It would be nice to just go into the mods now. Had enough time playing the in game with the in game equipment, and I don't kind of want to keep playing with it now. So we'll just dump the last load of this. How's the combine doing? 81. You're still here. So you'll be, this will be replaced with the AR when we get enough money. There are up here this is getting a bit we need to get some animals up here sharpish pretty sharpish and uh, yes I realize there's no British uh, British farm star maps has well video hasn't been released um, I am trying to catch this one up so when this becomes episode 3 I will be back in British farm stars playing that and getting that underway but I just kind of wanted to have both of these maps are episode 3 so they could 
so I could kind of then start doing one after each other and they'd both be in near enough the same episode as each well they'd both be like episode 5 of this and episode 5 of that not you know episode 3 and episode 6 and, you know stuff like that So yeah, there'll be a. Uh, hopefully, I should get a vlog out and some GoPro footage and some stuff. If not, then it's just because I forgot. But I will be cracking on with videos like this. Um, yeah. So yeah, it just. Well, I don't know what we'll go into after these, uh, but I would like to. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know what maps are going to come out. You don't know what DLCs are coming out. I know Culver and uh, Chellington are on their way. Um, we'll probably take a look at them but we won't jump into them till these two maps are well somewhere where I just want to be done you know done with them but it's it's just whatever happens happens uh, we'll do some multiplayer games on some maps I suppose we'll be on Nick's we can jump into Nick's server but it's on. It's uh, Nick's server's on Goldcrest route R Valley at this moment in time, and I don't don't like that map. So, well, I don't. I just don't want to do videos on it because it's just a standard mapping game, isn't it? Really, and I don't. I want to be different to most of the other YouTubers. Obviously, still play the same game, but just not on the standard map. Play a more play a different map because everybody knows what the standard maps look like. But. But whilst you're doing that, let's get you back out there. So as you can see, you're on 30%. And this vulture is absolutely covered in mud. But that's good enough. And the cab is totally clean. We obviously don't get out of it enough. Well, as you can see, it's going down now, so we only got 7,000 for that load. So we'll probably stockpile this one. How much have we got? 6,000 litres. Yeah, we'll stockpile this next load. So we'll... We want to leave this somewhere where it's going to be easy to get to and not too much in the way. We'll take it back to the main yard, main yard anyway, and that should finish it up. I know I said I was going to make these 30 minutes, but it's late over here, and I I just wanted to get this one, you know, done, and just sort of give you an update on what's happening, and if some new stuff gets bought, and I don't film it, or whatever, but, so tomorrow night I should get a video out, well, I should get a video recorded, if I haven't got any GoPro footage, um, but that'll be on Sutton Farm, and then for Monday morning it should be British Farms. So we should get that done, which means I may have to spend a bit of Sunday, Sunday evening playing on it because I haven't actually gone back on it yet. Um, I know where we are on it. We've got some soya bean in the ground in all three fields and some other bits and bobs. But that map is challenging to say the least uh, because of how much, because of how hard the economy actually is now. So. phone going off again yeah but we'll uh, we'll put this somewhere then we'll uh, end the episode uh, yeah I'm sorry again that it's short but it's it's the way it is if I had if I'd have had a spare day today I'd have recorded loads uh, it's just where do we put it now oh well, that looks like a good place right around that corner There we go, leave it all hooked up as one. Leave it all hooked up as one unit. Put this back in the bale shed. Right, so anyway, uh, sorry it's such a short video, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed, subscribe for more today, and I shall see all of you in the next video. Happy farming. Bye bye.